there are a lot of good quarterback draft pro prospects out, e out there. And every year, it's a struggle to find who's the best, because you can go either way. And in this draft class, there's a lot of good quarterbacks. But some are better than others, and some are overrated. And I believe that Sam Howell is very overrated. His stats are at best mediocre. He's regressed since his freshman year. He doesn't even show the sky-high potential that w that one might see in a boomer bust prospect. He turns the ball over, and he hasn't won anything of note. And today, I'm going to show you why he is overrated and he's a QB draft bust. Starting out, I'm going to talk about his mediocre stats to, at best, good stats. His best year was actually his freshman year, where he threw for 3,641 yards, a 65% completion percentage, 38 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. That's good and all, but it was his best supporting cast, and he did play against ACC defenses. And compared to other top quarterbacks, it's not that good. In his sophomore year, though, he put up worse numbers, mostly. 68.1% completion percentage, 3,586 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. And so far, it's been okay, but not really what you've been expecting so far from a really hyped up quarterback. And people were expecting in his junior year for him to, you know, break out in some sort of way, but it was mostly disappointment. He went 217 for 347, which is a 62.5% completion percentage, 3,056 yards, which is 33rd most, which, which is not even like he put up good yards or anything, 24 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions with a 76.1 QBR. And that is not that good, because if somebody who's supposed to develop in the NFL, like, you're, you're supposed to, you know, progress, not regress basically, and while well, stats aren't that bad, they're not that good either, because if you're going to be a good NFL quarterback, you need to put up great numbers in college. Good NFL quarterbacks put up great numbers in college, and great NFL quarterbacks put up bizarre numbers in college. And what, do these stats actually make you think that he's a good, like, quarterback? Because, I don't know, I'm going to I'm going to show you the other quarterbacks in this draft class that are actually put up way better numbers. Kenny Pickett put up 4,319 yards with a 67.2% completion percentage, 42 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions, and led a team to the New Year's Six Bowl, and a weak supporting cast. Matt Corral went 67.9% completion percentage, he did miss out on a couple games, 3,349 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, and led the team to the Sugar Bowl. And this is in the SEC. Desmond Ritter put up 3,334 yards, 64.9% completion percentage, 8 interceptions, and 30 touchdowns. His stats, the, the only quarterback that he put up stats better than that's notable in this draft class is Malik Willis, who's an even bigger fraud than Sam Howell. And let me just bring up that Sam Howell's 62.5% completion percentage is even worse than Jack Cohn. Yeah, Jack Cohn from Notre Dame, the definition of mediocre, put up better completion percentage. Man, that is bad. 3,056 yards is only good for like 40th in the NCAA and not that great. So what makes you think that because of this he's one of the better quarterbacks in his draft class? Like I don't know but in case I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt but even draft bust put up better stats than him. Yeah, there's been draft busts that put up way better stats than him. That shows that even if you put up spectacular numbers, you can still be a bust. And I'm going to start with Dwayne Haskins, one of the biggest busts in this decade. And he, against a stacked Big Ten defense, put up record-setting numbers. He went four, He threw for 4,831 yards, 70% completion rating, 50 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. Yeah, that is insane. Led his team to the Rose Bowl. And Gardner Minshew, yeah, Gardner Minshew 
put up 4,779 4, 4, yards, a 70.7% completion percentage, 38 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Which is, with the 9 interceptions isn't that good, but still better numbers than Sam Howell. And I'm going to show you what actual good college quarterbacks, their stats. Uh, Mac Jones put up 4,500 yards with 41 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, and a 77.4% completion per percentage rating. That is insane. Trevor Lawrence put up a 69.2% completion percentage, 3,153 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. I am telling you that... That it is, if you struggle in college, you are not going to do good in the NFL. College quarterbacks coming into the NFL, most of them have already proved that they're good in college. They just need to translate if they go to the translate their talent to the NFL. Like Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, they already had talent. It was just if they could transfer it to the NFL. And Sam Howell hasn't even shown that he has talent. So why do you think he's magically going to develop in the NFL if he hasn't even developed in college yet? Yeah. And, okay, maybe you say, maybe he, he can just develop in the NFL. And my second point is that he doesn't even really have that much of a high ceiling. His best season was his freshman year, where he, where he put up 3,641 yards, 65% completion percentage, 38 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. It's not that bad, but not that good either. And, like, that's not that good at all. Josh and Boomer Bust quarterbacks are guys that have already done crazy things in college, but they have a knock on them. Let's say they put up great numbers, but they did it against weak competition. Or maybe he has a, a guy has a rocket arm and great accuracy, but his athleticism is bad. Or maybe he, or maybe he has, he has crazy athleticism, but he just needs to work on his passing. Sam Howell is not good in neither of those areas, except for he kind of knows how to evade the pressure. He turns the ball over. A lot of interceptions he doesn't really throw for that much yards because as i said 3056 yards was only 33rd 33rd most he played against weak acc defenses he doesn't really put up much touchdowns either and he's not even that fast and his football iq isn't that great either josh allen the only thing on his game was that he didn't have accuracy patrick mahomes had a bunch of crazy stats but he but people thought he did it just because he played in a easy system under Cliff Kingsbury and against bad Big 12 defenses. But Sam Howell is struggling in all areas. He does not have the sky-high ceiling. And yeah, so if you have a boomer bust quarterback, which usually doesn't work out anyway, even if they do put up great stats, you're expecting them to be really good, but Sam Howell he hasn't even lived up to his hype in college. How is he supposed to develop in the NFL? Another excuse I see for him is that he played with terrible teammates at North Carolina. I have some counter arguments for that. Sure, his teammates at North Carolina weren't that great, but if you got drafted in the NFL, he's likely going to get drafted to a quarterback needy team that is not that good, and their supporting cast is terrible, and the defenses that are facing are going to be even better. So yeah, good luck. Your life's not going to get that much easier there. And also, he's played against terrible ACC defenses, like I've said before. And his teammates at North Carolina weren't that bad. And he's played under a great coach. Yeah, uh, that doesn't really look that great. I know a team's probably still going to reach on him, but still. And it's not like his issues, even if you still want to make excuses for him, that he can magically turn everything around, even though he hasn't even performed in college. His issues that he has aren't very fixable in the NFL. He has a knack for turning the ball over. He fumbles a lot, he got strip sacked in the senior bowl, he throws interceptions, and that's not really something that an NFL team can develop. It's him. And quarterbacks that struggle with turnovers don't really, uh, usually don't really pan out. Sam Darnold, Jameis Winston. And why does he do that, you ask? It's because he freaks out whenever he's under pressure, which is. Well, a thing that most quarterbacks need to do is do good under pressure. He's not that great. And he doesn't really go through his progressions. On his first read, he throws the ball. Not very patient. And that's why he does turnovers. 
Those things are up to him, not the team, which is why I don't really think he can be developed that much. And my third and final argument is that he hasn't even really won anything at North Carolina. I know team success is not that big, but should still count for something. Because, you know, Mac Jones won the Natty and stuff. He went, his first season, he went 7-6. and six. His second season, he went 8-4. and four. In his third season, he, won, he went 6-7. and seven. And he's only won one bowl game, which is like the Liberty Bowl. And just not very, a very big winner. I think he should have stayed for his senior year because he still hasn't very served North Carolina that great. He is so overrated and hasn't shown up in college and he will not show up in the pros. Now, I'm just a random kid on the internet, so watch him be a Hall of Famer and then we look back on this video and I look sound very stupid. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.